Good morning. It's Lynn Williams with uh, Behind Thermal Industries. We're going to do a Mike Hill over here at uh, Emily Taylor's um, Acre Bee Farm. And uh, we're going to get suited up. We'll be back on live on the camera in just a minute. Which has been a big learning experience for her opportunity. <laughs> I don't normally get stung for jeans. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now we started our mic kill. Temperature be rising. Okay, with the double deep, you can take longer than a single. Being two large boxes, a lot more air volume. It took about 48 minutes to uh, reach the mic kill temperature. We're going to remove the closure stick and it will continue its process for two and a half hours. After that, we'll remove the mic killer and inspect it for mice. These can now go in and out if they wish. You'll notice that uh, the bees are in what we call uh, air conditioned mode. Their optimum temperature is 94 degrees, 94.5. So they're actually trying to cool this box down during this mite kill process. But it's no harm to the bees. Bees don't die until you get to 116 degrees. We have found dead bees on the mite board when we mite killer when we removed it. What we found also, those dead bees had mites attached to it. Okay, now the next part of the segment will be the inspection after we uh, remove the mite killer after it's completed its uh, two and a half hours. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, Miss Emily Taylor is getting ready to uh, disconnect. The uh, mite kill timer is finished for the two and a half hours. We're going to unplug the unit, let it cool off. We just did a temperature check, verified with an RTD temperature probe. Looks good and we'll do an inspection on the mic board here. Probably about 30, 40 minutes. We're going to remove the uh, styrofoam insulation. Even without doing a count. I can see probably 40, 50 dead mice. And in the next seven to ten days, we install the mic board. You'll see a continued fallout. Sticky board works good too. Collect them up. We're gonna let these babies settle down and do an actual mic count. Okay, this is Emily Taylor that's inspecting the uh, mic killer board. And uh, she's pointing out the mites. We do have some dead bees. You're just going to find those. are Two things happen. They're at the end of their life cycle or they actually had mites on them. And a lot of times when we move the bee we'll find a mite right underneath him because when the mite dies it releases its attachment to the bee. Emily's using a set of tweezers, I mean a yeah. needle here. He's pointing out 
the different mites. And we're gonna gather them up as samples. As you can see that's uh, the first three right there. And they're scattered uh, across the board, even up here on the front, you'll find them. As you see right there, as Emily has rotated the bee up, the mite that was attached to the bee was directly fell right off his back. So as she raised him, turned him up, there was the mite that was attached to the bee. Okay, we're up to 37, which is really pretty good for July from a hive. And keep in mind, there'll be more to fall out over the next seven, 10 days. You probably see around eight times this in the total count after this, uh, after the bees completely clean out the hive. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. We're constantly striving to keep our bees healthy. Thank you.